hey guys welcome back to our channel and I hope you guys are doing good so today we're gonna cook uh, Mongolian beef and uh, I have a story to tell you guys so please uh, keep watching this video until the, till the end and uh, the story is gonna be pretty funny so you know the Mongolian beef is is, uh, is one of the best dish and I know that everyone's cooked in a different way so let me tell you the story what happened so uh, my wife and I we went to we were craving for a Chinese food and uh, she said okay let's go we found one uh, restaurant I don't wanna say the name but in a Salem I went to this uh, we went to this restaurant and uh, I was so much craving for Mongolian beef because it shows us this is spicy so I said okay fine I'll go for Mongolian beef and I requested them to make a super spicy super super spicy and what happened is the waiter was just like she was shocked like oh really super spicy okay she she wrote it down and I thought this is gonna be awesome it's gonna be super spicy and the kind of things and uh, when the they brought the Mongolian beef I was I was totally disappointed totally disappointed in that you know this is what it was first of all it was not at all spicy it was more like a sweet so much sweet it looks like they they dumped the sugar the brown sugar in it and a lot of the sweet kind of things so it was super sweet and then top of that dish this Mongolian beef has tons of onions on it a lot of onions the beef and actually I would I ordered like a, a mix like a beef and uh, shrimp chicken and chicken shrimp with a little and it would cover with tons of onions on top of it and tons of onions and it was not what I was expecting and she was saying what <laughs> she was saying uh, she was saying this was going to be super spicy but it was not at all it was like a super sweet and I was like totally highly disappointed in that thing and I said this is not the Mongolian beef kind of things but I'm not sure everyone has a different way I've seen that some people use a tons of onions to cook that uh, Mongolian beef and some people use the broccoli and uh, every one has a different way of cooking and but I was I, I'm not sure if uh, I ever find a some place I think I I do find I, I did find one place uh, where I found I found the Bangalore beef was pretty good but most of the time this I would I have been highly disappointed because the UC say it is spicy even you see the sign the chili sign the red chili sign on on their menu I'm sure that's spicy, but exactly it's not a spicy. So I was highly disappointed. I, I think I took a one or two bites and that's all. I was looking for a... I, I ate all the shrimp because I paid for shrimp. And the beef was fine. I, I ate the beef. and But I did not touch the chicken and the sauce. Nope. I could not eat anything. And guess what? I came out. I know it's, just, it's kind of a wasting of food. But when I came out and I... I dumped whole food in into garbage so it was a highly disappointing I didn't want to do that but I did not have any option so yep then I decided okay I'm gonna make a Mongolian beef and I'm gonna make the way I like it so this is how what you have you see that I am making this uh, Mongolian beef and I'm adding uh, making it a spicy for me and I'm not putting a lot of sugar because they use the uh, brown sugar then you use a sweet soy sauce and those kind of things of uh, uh, this uh, Mongolian beef is more sweet than all well, spicy so you need to have a balance on that so just to make to maintaining a balance I'm adding a, a little bit of uh, tomato ketchup to bring a little taste uh, to bring a little sweetness but it's not sweet sweet but I'm gonna add some spices if you've seen that it's all up to you how much how do you want to like how do you want like to cook your Mongolian beef and it's all up to you so tell me in a comment tell me the what uh, if you ever had a Mongolian beef and and if you had one did you get the best one where you can get a best Mongolian beef comment me below and tell me which you find and I I just tell you this up uh, if you go and cook the way I'm cooking right now you will love this Mongolian beef you can make your own if you want spicy you can add spicy if you don't want a spicy just you can totally skip that and uh, but uh, you can make a Mongolian beef at your home 
and it is so easy and it's not so difficult it's can you can cook them uh, cook it at home and I, I'm sure that your uh, your kids and your uh, your family members would definitely love this it's super easy it's all up to you how you want to cook how spice level you want to bring into it so it's all up to you so I just when I cook this I just love this one it was so good juice it's so so nice it's spicy and it has a little sweetness in it but it was so good you can obviously do the rice well that's the story which I was wanted to tell you and uh, this is you can cook and share with your loved ones and let me know how when you cook it how you how they like it when you cook that and how it turned out and um, thank you guys so I really appreciate for supporting us and uh, liking our channels and subscribing to our channel too appreciate that please continue to share with your families and friends and uh, help us to make grow and uh, we can bring more special dishes and a special a uh, different type of food on the table and um, I'll try to do more uh, more creative or more and in other way and I'll share, I'll share with the with you guys some different kind of foods so please subscribe to our channel and like our channel and share with your loved ones and your friends and relatives I love you guys and thank you so much for your support and please make sure you cook this in your home and share with your family and watch your friends over and share with them and I'm sure they will love it they would definitely love it just follow the recipe that's not a, a, a message this is not a big thing that you make the Mongolian beef it's just simple making sure you have all the ingredients that shown in this in, in this video so guys enjoy cook enjoy and uh, share with your loved ones and I hope you like this video and uh, please please comment me and tell me uh, if you ever had a Mongolian beef not a Mongolian beef we ever had a Mongolian chicken or Mongolian shrimp any kind of Mongolian thing and let me know if you find if find anything if you ever found like other uh, uh, the best Mongolian beef or chicken or shrimp and if you have some restaurants please recommend me and I'm in Utah if you find something in Utah let me know I would definitely go and try that and um, so keep watching this channel keep watching sorry keep watching this video and uh, enjoy and have good have a, you guys have a wonderful time and thank you so much once again for watching our channel thank you so much for for your support and um, I hope you guys are doing good and keep watching this it's gonna be tasty when you go and it's turn out to be a Mongolian beef you would love this and we love you guys and I hope you guys are doing good and I uh, see ya take care bye